What's the it's day three of the world's biggest Sydney Opera House cake and we're a day behind. But I was here till about 3.30 this morning putting in the centre poles, which you can see there now, with my boyfriend who <laughs> is a strain on the relationship. And I guess I've had my first kind of moments of real fear in the sense that we are starting to get behind and for the first time I'm starting to think, what if we don't get there? Like, what if I don't accomplish this? Which isn't like me, but it's kind of at three o'clock in the morning, it does affect you. So I really need to move it on. So it's so exciting to see this because this probably should have happened yesterday. And I was up late last night getting everything ready so that we could do it. They're putting the second layer of the Opera House, the biggest sails on. So um, they're layering it with ganache. We've got the metal centre coils coming up underneath. The boards which we've just cut, this is what's been delaying us. The boards and the centre coils. Not the cake, not the volunteers, the actual hardware. It's exactly like building a house. So this is just putting it brick by brick by brick. We need both sets of sails assembled by tonight so it can set. Ganache needs to set and go hard and then tomorrow they'll be actually sculpting them into shape. And these guys are working really quickly. This is how you need to work on a big cake. Is it exciting to see the cake going down? Yes, yes I Just putting the cake on the edge there and trying not to, trying to get all the pieces to match up together. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> some chocolate. The chocolate smells just amazing. Yeah. got a knot in my stomach. The weather's predicted for 35 degrees on Australia Day, which the cakes are great up until about 30 degrees, but with chocolate ganache, when we're heading into 33, 35, the longer it's out in the sun, the more we're at risk of it melting. What can actually happen is that it's quite scary actually, and gross, is that the cake is iced. So if you think about this like an eggshell, and this cake underneath is chocolate. The actual ganache, the actual kind of softer chocolate starts melting and it goes all gooey and liquid inside but the eggshell is holding it all in and then it reaches a point where the icing just splits open so the eggshell splits open and all the cake which has melted and become liquid just gushes out and it's extremely dramatic like it's absolutely horrifying apparently what happens I haven't actually been there because I've been called afterwards to clean it up is that the cake will look okay a bubble develops then it opens up and it's literally like a dam bursting the biggest uh, chefs will be there it's like food royalty I've got some really really big names and if I can't deliver the cake or if something happens to the cake the whole of the food world will know and it will be happening in front of them like it won't be a story it'll be reality and uh, that's horrifying really horrifying Rise,